wallet. Happy days. Hey, that's my wallet that kid fished out of the water. Wait a second, kiddo. That's not public property. It's mine. What? Yeah, right. Anyone could say that. How stupid do you think I am, big guy? No, honestly, it really is my wallet. So? So? So I want it back. But I found it. And how am I supposed to know it's really yours? My word is my bond. Now hand it over. No. And if you take it away from me, I start screaming. Go on then. Scream yourself, horse. Hmm. Those triad types might still be hanging around. Maybe I'm better off without unnecessary attention. Okay, kid. Look, that wallet is very important to me. I really need it back. Not my problem. Cheeky little bastard. Fine. He's only a kid. I can play along. Will you tell me your name? Only if you tell me yours. Well, I'm Fenton. I'm Hal. Okay, Hal. Do you want a reward for finding my wallet? You can have all the coins that are in it. No. Then what do you want? Help me catch a bat. Come again? Catch a bat? Yes. You're fishing for bats? Don't be stupid. I'm only killing time until the bats come out. There are tons of them over there in the warehouse. And you want a bat because? I bet my friends I could catch one. But you can't. Sure I can. Well, usually, but it's raining today. So? You don't know much about bats, do you? The rain drives away the insects. And if there aren't any insects around, then there's nothing for the bats to eat. And if there's nothing to eat, the bats won't come out. All right. No, it's not all right. If I don't catch a bat, they'll think I lied. And that's why you'll keep that big mouth of yours shut next time. And this is the persuasive charm you use on people when they've got something you want? Fine. I'll get you your bat. You give me my wallet. Sure. It's a deal. Fine. If I want my wallet back, I guess I need... A bat. What was it again about bats? They hate the rain. Oh man, weren't you listening? The bats don't mind a little bit of rain, but the flies do. And where there are no flies to hunt, there are no bats. You follow? Wouldn't it be better if you try again tomorrow evening? Perhaps you know when it's not raining. I bet I catch a bat tonight, not tomorrow. Maybe the rain will stop. I see. Hope springs eternal. Very well. I'll come up with something. Maybe I can find a way to attract the bats. When I do, I want my wallet back. Deal! How's my wallet? It's in good hands. I give it back to you when you lure out the bats. I'll be off then. It'll stay nice and dry over there under the umbrella. I'm not going to take that lamp away from the boy. I suppose he still needs it. At least the kid won't get wet under the umbrella. Blackmailing children? What is the world coming to? But I guess I'd better help him if I want my wallet back. They don't look very inviting. Rubbish. I don't want to rummage through the rubbish. And I don't have to, either. Dirty flies. They must like this dry patch under the roof. What was that? a magic cat. That was close. I shouldn't make so much noise. I shouldn't get too close to that cat. If it starts making a racket again, the trials will come flying around the corner. I need to lure it away somehow. What is it that cats like playing with? I'm going to wring this moggy's neck in a minute. Of course, I'd probably better nod. Not only am I a great animal lover, but more importantly, the racket might attract Tong's thugs. A cat. A 
a tree cut precisely to shape. Typical British approach. We even impose our formalities on nature. Wait a moment. Is that a ball hanging in the branches? Hold! Stop! Stop where you are, sir! What do you think you're doing? I, uh, want to get that ball over there. My, uh, nephew accidentally threw it into the tree while he was playing this morning. I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot allow you to do that. What? I just want to go get my nephew's toy. That may very well be, and usually it wouldn't be a problem, sir. But today it's been raining, and you are just about to step on this decorative English lawn. So what? So what? Excuse me, but have you taken leave of your senses, sir? The constant rain has soaked the ground completely, and the precious blades of grass are defenceless against your brutal boots. OK, then. I'll be very careful when I walk across the lawn. I promise. Halt! If you take even one more step towards the border, I will have to arrest you, sir. Now wait just a minute. There's a million different crimes going on right now in this city. Your lawn will be just fine. Sir, I do not joke. When it comes to the protection and care of His Majesty's parks, I have full authority. After all, we represent the British Crown here. What is to become of the Empire if we are not even capable of establishing well-tended gardens in our colonies? Sir, you are preventing me from doing my duty. Either you step back, or I will be forced to take you into custody. It seems I am powerless against British conscientiousness. I can't even tell him why I'm here. I need a different plan. I've got everything I need from Lord Weston. I need to get ready for this trip. The Governor's Palace. The policeman's guarding the palace entrance. The Governor's Palace. There's a ball hanging in the tree. Good evening, sir. How may I help you, sir? Do you enjoy doing this? I beg your pardon, sir? I mean, standing around here all day in the pouring rain. After serving in London for ten years, the rain doesn't really bother me, sir. Apart from that, it's a great honour to maintain law and order in front of the Governor's Palace. Three cheers for our British civil servant. May I ask you a question? Go ahead, sir. By a hair, the Tong Triad nearly drowned me in the harbour today, and yet there wasn't a police officer for miles. Any particular reason? If the incident occurred, as you say, in the harbour, you will have to file an official complaint to the Office of the Colonial Administration. They're responsible for the Southern District. I am under the direct authority of the Palace Department, and I'm responsible for maintaining law and order on and around these premises. Three cheers for British bureaucracy. Then I won't keep you from your work any longer. Good night, sir. There's nothing useful inside. A normal rubbish bin. End of story. Was never much of a gardener myself, contrary to British stereotype. My alarm clock wound down a while ago. Let's take a look. Ah, the key's stuck to the back. Okay, I'll wind up the clock. Running like... clockwork. It'll go off in a couple of minutes. Okay, I'll place the alarm clock in the rubbish bin. Let's see what happens when it goes off. When the alarm goes off, I better not be here. What's that? Who's disturbing the governor's sleep? Well, can you believe that? Why would someone throw away a perfectly good alarm clock? Great. That should distract him from his duties for a while. And now off the lawn as quickly as possible. I 
I must be a damn genius. If I tie the measuring tape to the ball, I'll have a lovely colourful pendulum. Hey, things like this always seem to come in handy. I need to avoid making too much noise. Don't need those goons to turn up. I need to avoid making too much noise. Don't need those goons to turn up. That definitely means avoiding breaking large wooden rods. A thin wooden rod. Okay, you little rascal. Let's see if your animal intelligence is any match for my person intelligence. Aha! Take that, nature. Seems the pendulum is far more interesting than I am. The cat isn't bothering me anymore. And to make sure it stays that way, I'll just leave it alone. Worth a try. I should be able to suck up a few flies. My god, Fenton Paddock. Legendary adventurer. Pilot extraordinaire. Flycatcher. Is that a step down? Fly, my pretties. It's working. The flies are buzzing round the lamp. Hey! What are you doing there? You said you wanted flies. I've got some. And that's supposed to work? Yeah. The flies lure the bats, and you catch one. I don't know. At the least, it'll give you a fighting chance. I'd say I've kept my part of the deal. Hmm. Okay then. Here's your wallet. There wasn't anything valuable in there anyway. Well, I was having some financial issues, you know, and... Hey, it's none of your business. Give it to me. Good luck on your bat hunt. Thanks. I think I'll check nothing's missing. What I'm about to say is actually pretty sad. Nothing's missing. Hey, boss. What's up, Gus? She's just about ready. I've stowed your equipment and some provisions. Whatever would I do without you, Gus? Well, keep that in mind next time you fill in my paycheck. Anyway, good luck, boss. You'll need it. Thanks, Gus. So, I guess I'll get going in a couple of minutes, if there's nothing else. All right. Take a few days off and enjoy them. If I'm not back in three weeks, then I suppose you'll have to look for a new job. I'm sure it won't come to that. Yes, my safe combination. I really should memorize this thing. Hmm. I keep the old personnel files in the safe. There might still be a photo of Yen Wang in there. Old private documents and personnel files. There must be a photo of Yen Wang in here somewhere. Hmm. These are the documents and certificates from my days in the army. A newspaper article on the 1932 Harbour Riots. It says, Eight dead during riots in Hong Kong Harbour. Chinese dock workers came together on Friday evening in the Victoria Harbour to vent their anger over low wages. A British army unit was dispatched to the harbour to keep the peace. As the situation was about to escalate, the officer in command was ordered to retreat in order to prevent casualties. For reasons unknown, the officer in command did not comply with these orders. His soldiers opened fire and began to shoot randomly into the enraged mob. This incident caused a public outcry and was followed by several other clashes. Thankfully, there were no further casualties. The British government regrets the incident and has relented to the workers' demands. The officer responsible for the bloody conflict has been suspended from his duties for the time being. It is very likely that he will have to face charges of insubordination 
before a military court. Why on earth did I keep this crap? Here we go. Yen Wang's personnel file. Complete with photo. Now, hopefully, Niansu can tell me Yen Wang's current address. I've got Yen Wang's photo. That's all I need. It took longer than expected, but I have the photo. Um, what uh, photo are you talking about? The photo of my friend. You told me to bring it. Me? Do I know you, young man? Ah, oh, wait. You're that pilot boy, right? I don't believe it. Are you for real? <laughs> Take it easy, son. You must forgive this old man his jokes. Come along. Show me the photo. I know this man. And do you know where he lives? I said I'd tell you all you wanted to know. He has moved to the Won Moi district. And if I remember correctly, he lives in Wing Hao Street. Finally. Thanks a lot. That was all? Yes, that's all. You have been a great help. Perhaps I can return the favor someday. Hmm. Be seeing you, Paslok. Right. This must be Yen Wang's place. It's been a while. God knows how he'll react. <laughs> 